hello there uh, welcome again this is Dare here uh, thank you for watching this video um, I'm gonna share with you in continuation of uh, the trade we made uh, last week six days ago precisely uh, this is the chart that we traded uh, six, six, uh, six days ago uh, just to recap I told you the strategy that I use uh, to trade Forex uh, the first thing you will notice is the 50 SMA simple moving average what that does is it tells you the trend you don't need to search too long to find out whether the trend is up or down it will tell you instantly as you can see on the screen this is 50 day moving average right from the left hand side of the screen down here the trend is down from here trend is up and trend changes again and as we speak the trend is still down so the first thing you ask yourself what direction of trade should I take should I go long should I go short 50 SMA should tell you what to do so when the price is below 50 SMA you only looking to trade short you only need looking to, to sell the, 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 the instrument you are not thinking of buying at all right from the left here to this side you don't think of buying at all over here you don't think of selling at all because your chances here of making money if you buy is very very low however because it's a big trend it's a trend and it's a very strong trend your chances of making money when you sell into the trend is a lot higher so why don't you stack the chances in your own favor similar here when you buy around here you had better chances and so forth when you sell here you have good chance to win okay so rule number one sma will determine the trend now once once you know the trend last time i told you how to differentiate between a choppy uh, or uh, a trend or a sideways market so if 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 the market is sideways you want to you don't want to trade at, at that time you want to uh, stay away from that sideways market you are looking for trending market so to recap our last week um, number one condition is the SMA at the moment prices are below SMA so we are only looking to short we are only looking to trade uh, short position to sell this pair by the way this is Australian US dollar uh, uh, today today's date is the 18th December if you remember we put on the trade on the 12th December okay this is around where we traded and according to the rule once you choose your direction that we are selling around here you look for a rally in a downtrend you look for a rally and which is signified by the change in color of the Hekin Ashi candle. We are using only the Hekin Ashi candle and the AMA to um, to take position in the market. So, if you look at here, around here, you see the. Uh, I've explained this last week, so you might want to go back and look at uh, the previous video uh, for you to understand the uh, the system properly. Uh, but uh, in summary, uh, this is a downward downward trend is been continuing and at this point you see a, a blue candle appear after a lot of red candles uh, first one is to confirm that the trend is is temporarily changing uh, or the, the the market is rallying uh, after a lot a lot a long time of selling off so they are rallying so you watch you don't take any action until the color changes back to the original trend so we are in the downward downward trend and the color has changed back here so you wait for the close of that candle when the color 
goes back to the original trending color and once that candle is closed the following day you will go into the market you will sell at the open of the next candle and that is what we did uh, on the uh, I believe on the 12th of this month 12th of December uh, that's about five trading days ago we, we, we sold Australian US dollar at uh, 0 0.90405 and we initially put our stop loss if you remember round about top of this rally here top of this rally here around about 9180 okay and we set our target to the support here the lowest support line this is this is another support line where we decided to put it here uh, at least to rake in more profit um, so when the market move in our favor you remember we pull our stop loss to break even uh, so the second day when we went to the market the market move in our favor we pull the stop loss back into break even so our trade is uh, is a free trade uh, however today the reason why I'm, of course the reason why i'm doing the video is to tell you that we have hit our target today uh, as you can see uh, as as we are recording this video the prices is still moving is going down so we are we were out at this blue line so we are out at 88 0 0.88537 that is our take profit uh, so if you will look at that um, so we end up with approximately from our starting position here to our end position here about 187 88 86 pips profit and what we risk initially uh, which we eventually move to break even we risk around about 137 pips however uh, we never get close to that so the following day we, we move to break even so we uh, the take profit has been hit therefore we have banked our uh, our trade here we have our 186 uh, pips profit in the bank and uh, we were looking for the next opportunity uh, just to quickly show you that here is the trade Australian US dollar uh, here is the uh, price we bought it 90405 there is a stop loss after we've we've moved the stop loss even beyond the breaking even and this is the take profit which has been hit uh, so for the profit of one thousand eight hundred sixty eight dollars as we were trading one standard lot okay so that is the system in a nutshell it is very simple to trade uh, as usual if you have any questions give me a call or uh, just uh, make a comment on this on this uh, video and I will be happy to assist you um, today uh, there are a few opportunities on other pairs that you might want to look at so uh, for example now there's an opportunity in GBP you can see it's definitely this is upward trend um, so you're only going long right you're only going long here and you can see a pullback and this was yesterday's close of the candle the color has changed back to the original trend and it's telling us that we can go in today at the close of this candle so if you want to trade you can look at that uh, GBP US dollar remember we are looking at daily chart there's an opportunity as well in uh, USD Japan uh, blue candles all the way until currently there's a pullback and 
blue candle again you should be going to the market on this uh, at the close of this candle so there are few opportunity euro japan you can look at that as well opportunity there uh new zealand japan there's opportunity there and lastly uh, on usd card us dollar canada daily chart there's opportunity there uh, i will be taking one of these opportunities and i will be describing how i trade it okay uh if you have questions ask me and i will be more than happy to assist you okay thank you for watching goodbye